So you understand something about the abnormal neurodynamic, you end up with a patient who doesn't move well without discomfort. It leads to tingling, numbness, spontaneous pain, spreading pain, and sympathetic dominance. They're cool. Think of somebody in the hammerlock. <laughs> They're starting to sweat. The sweating in the absence of thermal regulatory column. You've got patients whose hands are cold and hands and feet are cold all the time, your hands feet and cold all, cold all the time. That, no? You're quite fit though, are you not? Or are you not? <laughs> Bless your heart. You ever have a patient whose hands and feet are always cold, I'm always cold. Why are they cold? They aren't getting adequate blood flow to the hands and feet. I mean, it's a real simple thing. What makes this warmer? Blood flow. Okay, what's the second thing? There is no second thing. I mean, that's it. <laughs> okay? And, and, and are, we, are we capable of not getting blood flow where we need? Sure we are, you know? Is an abnormal neurodynamic possibly going to lead to that? Well, good Lord, that's its job. That's what it does, you see? It's right there. I heard a comedian the other day. I, 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 I meant to use this. You know, you know what it's like when you're in a room and there's some... It's perfectly nice in the room, and so some girl over says, geez, it's freezing in here. And I go, you know what that is? That's annoying. That's what that is. <laughs> but to me, that's sympathetic dominance, and it's very common in our patients with painful problems. And you see them change over and over again. You go on a program of regular idiomotoric activity and full press exercise. That's what the rest of the course is about. You, you've got me. You've identified the problem. Now you've helped them find a movement that they can do. Boom, 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 boom. You aren't looking for a tissue to fall. You're looking to understand pain. This is the essential diagnosis, the dysfunction addressed by video motion and approached therapeutically with simple contact. Okay? And it doesn't matter if you're an athlete, old person, young person, regular civilian, it doesn't matter. Pain's pain. You see? What it means to you as an individual varies well. The athlete that has an injury might hurt a whole lot more than the guy Oh, great, I don't have to work and I got all this disability coming in. He's not going to hurt nearly so much as the athlete who's dying to get to the state championship for the rest of their lives. Now we know why. 